Hi there, this is Callum, your Learning Support Officer for the Business School. Um, this short series of two videos uh, is, are just going to demonstrate how we set up a Turnitin assignment in Moodle. So um, the first video that we'll look at is it will show you kind of how you begin that process or so where, where we go to to start the process of setting up a Turnitin assignment and then it will go on to show us some of the basic settings. Um, the follow-up video will show some of the more advanced settings that we can set and also how we set the date and then how you actually kind of where, where you can access that turn to an assignment from once it's been set up and also where your students will find it. Um, it doesn't go into how we actually access assignments once they've been submitted by students to turn it in. There's another video called How to Access Turn It In Assignments, um, which is available on the Kelt YouTube website. Um, and this video shows you how to actually get into the assignments, have a look at them. Um, okay, so to begin the process, we want to turn editing on um, in the usual way, and that will pop out our drop down menus and I've just got a topic called turn it in which is where I want to add my turn it in assignment so I'm going to scroll down to the drop down menus for this and I'm going to go to add an activity and from add an activity I'm going to select turn it in assignment down at the bottom here now you'll see that turn it in assignment is separate from a kind of a, a group of assignments at the top now the group of assignments at the top are kind of inbuilt Moodle assignments but because turn it in is a, a third party piece of software it's stored on the internet and we're just interfacing with it through Moodle it's got its separate um, kind of button here for it so if we just click on turn it in assignment it brings up a fairly standard setup page for Moodle okay so I'm going to start by giving it a name and for this one I'm just going to call it my demo turn it in assignment and as with all um, assignments and resources and everything in Moodle really, we need to give it a name, which is what I've just done, um, because it's got this little asterisk here that says required field. Now the summary is also required in this, we have to give it a summary, which um, you don't get in all resources and activities. But for this one, um, because it's an assignment, I'm going to put an example that could be C course handbook. Now you might want to put um, the assignment brief in here if it's quite short, if it's a longer brief, um, or if there's a selection of briefs, you might want to tell them, tell students where to go and find them. Um, but it's important that you just put a bit of information here to guide them, so they they make sure that they get to the right piece of information to start to start off on their assignment. It's also important that we give it a descriptive name. Um, it's kind of quite common for people to call it "turn it in assignment" or "upload your file here." That's not very descriptive though. So if you tell the students what it is, it gives them a bit of confidence in what they're handing in. Um, moving down onto our basic settings. And we have submission type. Now we can submit a file or text or either of the above. A file upload is the standard um, upload of files. So the student's got a Word document, they've got a PDF, only text files, the Word document or PDF, they can upload that file. Or a text submission gives just a text box like the one we have above here, and students can type directly into that, and then it'll, che it'll check on Turnitin. I'm just going to stick to file upload, that's kind of standard one. Um, next we have a number of parts. Now if, a student, if you have an assignment that you want students to hand in in a number of different parts, you can select a number of different parts for that assignment from here. If perhaps it's going to be an essay and then a couple of kind of supplementary bits, you can put them in there and then you can mark them all as one and then turn it in. Um, I'm just going to keep mine on one, but if you want to upload multiple files, that's the way to do it. And um, we also have the maximum file upload size, fairly standard for Moodle. And again, standard for Moodle, the grade. So we can select what we're going to grade out of, if it's a pass, fail, or no grade, or if 100, or 50, or 10, or whatever. We then have an option for anonymous marking that we can switch on. If we switch on anonymous marking, it will hide the students' names from you when you go in to start marking. Now, you can't change that once you've actually set up the assignment. You can't go back and can switch it off. Um, so that's one to decide on just now. Um, and then we have student originality reports. We switch this on if we want students to get an originality report back from Mood, from Turnitin, which gives them the kind of the plagiarism report, the originality report from Turnitin. It will tell them the bits that are popping up as kind of showing up as being similar to other um, bits, maybe in journals that are checked or websites. Okay, so that's everything for this first video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to carry on from here and just look at the Turnitin advanced options and the date as mentioned before.